Yo, what up YouTube, it's Rain. The ma 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 Boomskin Mask. So what this is, this is gonna be something special. These are limited edition. Now I don't know if you saw the excitement of what happened in the UK when these released. So apparently the video that I'm about to show you or flick into was footage from the release of this trainer. <laughs> Did he bag him? I saw just slap my phone on my hand for recording, bro. Oh shit! It didn't drop though. Uh, man, did that's going world star, bro. Shh. World star, you get me? Did you see bags? Huh? Did yes, bro. I've Show got me that. Bro. Show me that hey, look, shit. Look at it. Look at it. Fucking hell, bro. Absolutely insane. But there they are. Well, no, that's not it. So what these are? These are the Air Jordan One Spider Man. I can't remember the actual title of the film. And the mad thing is, is that I actually watched the film yesterday. So in the film. Um, oh shoot! In the film, actually, I, if I tell you, I'm gonna spoil the film for you guys, isn't it? Basically, there's a guy called Miles Morales. I'm not gonna go into the detail of who or what he does, but in the film, he wears these. Now, the, whew, I've actually it's the first time I've actually first time I'm actually seeing them. So, ooh, okay. Ah, oh, right. So. Actually, I can tell you that Miles Morales is Spider-Man. He's a new Spider-Man and he is a black Spider-Man. Let's not let's not cut to the chase and let's not beat around the bush. Um, they made a film about his um, story um, and he wears these trainers in the film. The film is very, very good. Um, probably suitable for four years upwards, um, but it is, it is a good film. I recommend you watch it. But anyway, this is almost a Marvel Stanley Spider-Man Nike collaboration. Let's say that again. Marvel Stanley RIP because he passed away earlier this year. Spider-Man Nike collaboration. It should be very rare. It should be very exclusive, but it is not. It's actually technically considered a general release and when i say general release it's only simply for the fact that they were able to be got virtually in well in lots of shops basically um but anyway let's just get into the details so first off let me just deal with the leather the leather is just insane i, I didn't know they look that it, they look this good the tumble on the leather is crazy no way no way Anyway, the tumble on the lever is crazy, um, and there's different textures on the actual um, on the lever on, on the lever. So this is quite a deep lever in regards to the the the, the, the touch and the feel. The, the, the barometer is shattered backboard, equal to maybe not sure, but it is definitely good leather. Now on the actual toe box, the leather is a bit different. And and I've keep I've kept saying that. Well, as I say, on the toe here, the red part, it is a bit different. But I just want you to point out the little circles that are on the toe on on the actual trainer going all the way around it. Now I'm convinced that these are 3M. Now I can't take a picture of them now. I just don't have the time. But I just think that that little the circles. Obviously, you need to watch the film to see where the circles come into play. But those are just crazy. That detail on every trainer. That's crazy. And it's all over the trainer. The actual Nike swoosh is. I don't want it's, it, it, it's. It's made to look like carbon fiber. It's not leather, but it is leather, but it's like a plasticky leather, so it's not like a real leather. It's interesting. Um, and then the the actual out portion or the, the the outline of the swoosh is almost like a patent leather you can't make it out but it's only because i've got it in hand and then inside is that carbon fiber looking leather but it's actually circles crazy 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 the detailing on this is crazy then you've got the jordan wings um the jordan wings are just the jordan wings inside the trainer it's just the nike um normal nike logo or nike air logo Interesting enough, they've used the OG Spider-Man colours on the Nike Air tongue 
thingy, whatever you want to call it, and then just traditional nylon on the um, on the tongue. You come, it comes with a pair of black laces, black laces, um, and then it also comes with a pair of red laces. Now the black laces do have red tips, as you can probably just make out there, and then the blue laces have blue tips. Now I'm not really that kind of flash git that can get away with doing red laces on red. I don't even like red trainers as it is. Red ones um, and probably these because they look like Chicago's. Are they Chicago's or are they not? But anyway, I would wear these with the black laces, not with the fancy pants other ones. You know what I mean? Can't really going out can't be really going out like that. Then on the sole, just a clear translucent sole. They should have put a Spider-Man logo in there. That would have set it off. Or like on the Dorsham Becker, Dorsham Becker, Dorsham Becker, you know what I mean, the 95s, they had Stanley's signature on the bottom. They should have done that. That would have been insane. But um, these are these are something special. Now, what, there is no resale value in them because there are so many pairs. But I think it is, if you are a collector or if you are an Air Jordan 1 fan, this is definitely something that you would need to grab. 1 million percent retail was about 130 or 140 so not that expensive actually considering but definitely a trainer you should have but anyway it's rain the mask signing out did you pick these up do you like them do you hate them are they too close to the chicago colorway what are your thoughts let me know signing out out <laughs>